I'm first ironing out the creases just to try and get a perfect job. I've got my main fabric, I've got the lining and I've got my main fabric underneath. And the first thing I'm going to do is find out. This fabric is reversible, you can put it anywhere you like. So that's great. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my fabric in half, but, but I'm going to fold it on the bias. So I've got both my fabric and I'll fold it on the bias. Now, on my other video, which is um, how to work out the formula for swag, I showed you the measurements. So here, I'm going to continue now using those measurements to make the swag for that board. So here I'm going to measure, which is meant to be 18 inches for the top of the board. So half of 18, because the fabric is folded, is nine. So I'm not going to waste my fabric. I'm going to take this nine inch up as far as I can. So my nine inch is here. And using my special ruler, which is for swag, by the way, mainly for swag, I'm going to draw a line across. So that's 18 inches. Now the drop of my swag was going to be 45 inches. So I'm going to mark down the bottom 45 inches. And I'm going to just to put a quick mark up, it's around 10 inches up I think I'm going to go. But we'll double check that to see the span of my swag is 50, 54 inches. Half of 54 is 27 inches. So 27 inches is roughly there. So according to this I could come down a bit more, which is around here. There. So 27 inches the span of my swag is going to end up here. So bearing that in mind, right, now on my video I said this was A and B, and C is in the middle. So if, um, A and B, I'm now going to join up with E and F, which is down here. So I'm going to use my ruler and join those two up. Now, I'm going to use my special ruler to obtain the curve. And then afterwards, I will show you how you will do it, because you don't have one of these, these rulers. I'll show you how to do it without using this. But mind you, if you're a curtain maker, you would have this rod anyway. So you could bend the rod to show you your shape. Fortunate for me, I have this, this mechanism. So I will just use it. <laughs> and I will get my shape from it. Let's move to better lock it. This is how you would get your curve. You'll put your hand somewhere on the fabric where you're comfortable and from there you will swing your hand around to give you that curve. But this technique doesn't quite work because if I was to draw it, you will see you kind of got it dipping up here. So you have to do your curve and then from a certain point, draw the rest in. So basically you've only got that much of your curve and then the rest you'll have to draw in with a straight line.
have our swag cut out of both main fabric and lining. I'm going to open it back up for you so that you can see it. And as you can see, it's on the bias that way so that it will give. At this point, before I move it, I'm going to pin the bottom of the swag for you. Pin, pin, pin. So I've sewn the edges and I've sewn it quarter of an inch, less than quarter of an inch all the way around. There's no point in you sewing it any more than quarter of an inch because you'd only have to cut it off. So save time, just sew it cut four, quarter of an inch and then because it's on a circle, circus, we go around the edges and we nip it. So when we bag it out, it sits comfortably. We'll turn it inside out. And I'm ironing both the seams downwards. I don't need to open up the seams here, so I'm just ironing it downwards. Now this edge here, I'm going to iron it to give it a good sharp look. And what I'm doing when I'm ironing it, I'm making sure that the main fabric is looking at me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fold the fabric down, say roughly, around there we'll do. And we're going to lock stitch this all the way along. And now we're going to lock stitch this all the way down. Roughly six inches. The stitching that I'm doing apart around six inches apart. They don't have to be close. The purpose of this is just to help to keep the lining together. Then we do the same again at the top. So I'll bring the lining up. And then I'll take it down, say roughly there, so that's halfway. This lock stitches is you sew and then you loop the thread round the cotton. So you can see. I'll bring you closer if I can. Here. There are cotton in between. There it is. And it's locked. Locked in. All the way along. To make this a bit more interesting, I am going to put some tassel at the edge for you. Right, back on the table. I sewed this on and uh, later on I'm going to show you uh, the technique about this. Let me see if I can do it now. Um, In stitching this, all I have to do is there is um, two lines on, on the tassel. Uh, all you do is follow the bottom line. Put the tassel as close to the edge as you can. Uh, and from the other side, you really won't be able to see the stitching. See, the stitching is somewhere along there. 